Hi guys! Boy, do we miss you at the library. I hope everyone's well. I hope you're doing all kinds of fun things. I thought today that I would show you how to make some spring trees. Paint them. Paint and draw them. Most people that go to the library don't realize that I'm also an artist. I love my job at the library. I love teaching you guys uh, in the little classes that we do. But I also work in uh, as, a, as an artist in my studio at home when I'm not at the library. And so that's where we are now. We're in my studio. And I'll show you, I'll point the camera at a couple of spots and you can see what it looks like in here. Maybe you've never been to an artist studio before, but it's interesting. You know, every studio is a little bit different. So, um, I'll show you mine and then we'll get started on the spring trees, which will be a lot of fun. Hang on. So I'm going to turn the camera around. This is what I see when I first sit down in my chair. Um, these are some of the paintings I have on the wall. There's my cat dolly and my dog Hugo, and uh, a young lady by the window, and a building, an onion barn actually, and there's my son Henry, and two more dog paintings, a young man. Here is a picture of a little boy in his bed, and his mom has just come in to wake him up for school which is going to happen sooner than you think. You're going to be woken up by your mom, too, to go back to school. Uh, so I have brushes, I have paint, I have colored pencils and crayons, a lot of stuff in this studio. I'm going to walk over here and show you some of my paintings. I really like to paint and draw animals, so I have a lot of those. But I like to draw people also, so I have a bunch of those. And rockets, and nature, um, all kinds of things. So let's get back to the spring trees. This is gonna be great. If you have some um, paint, in a bottle like this or you have maybe some watercolors in a tray where you have little discs of color and you take your wet brush and you rub it on there and then you paint you can you can paint the spring trees that way too I'll show you one way that I like to do it and you can decide what's going to work best for you with the supplies you have so uh, to start out with um, this is going to be tricky because I have to, to show you this, I have to paint and draw while I'm also holding my phone and making a video. So let's hope this works. Thanks. Okay. Let's turn it around. Okay. I hope you can see that I have a piece of paper here. And I'm going to start with drawing the trunk of the tree. I'm one of those artists who likes to be sort of sloppy. And uh, I think it's fun to be sloppy uh, with art. And so my drawings are going to look that way, too. So here we go. First, we're going to make the... Uh, branches and you know branches go in so many different directions and they have so many shapes and they attach to each other and they occasionally they break off when we have an ice storm or you know you have to they get too long and the plant guy has to come and trim them but we all know that trees have one thing in common, two, more than one thing in common. They have leaves, they have roots, they have bark, 
they need water and sunlight. They, what else? They usually have little insects crawling on them. Birds like to nest in the trees. They like to just hang out in the trees even. So um, we have a lot of reasons to be happy that we have trees. Here's my funny tree. Let's see if I can put a uh, branch coming in from behind here. Let's see what that looks like. You make your tree any way you want. It could be a just one straight line with a lot of leaves coming off the sides. Whatever, whatever you like. Okay, so here we go. Putting, coloring it in just a little bit. And, you know, this is a colored pencil that I have that's, that um, when you, if you get it wet, you can sort of paint with it. Uh, they're called water soluble pencils. Maybe you have that, maybe you don't. Um, doesn't matter if you don't. You can use whatever you have and make your tree out of whatever um, you have in your, your stockpile of art supplies. So there we go. We have our basic tree. Now I'm going to try something interesting and I want to see if you can follow along. I have some tin foil, just regular tin foil. It's like a little square. Look at what I'm doing. I'm just going to make it into a ball. Not a really tight ball, but you see how all those little edges pop up? This is what's gonna, what we're gonna do. Take that piece of foil, dip it in your paint, and look what happens. You're gonna print. You're gonna print with the foil. The leaves, the cherry blossom leaves, because that's what is out now. Cherry blossoms, or almost out. I think that's so nice. It's so cool the way that works. And you know what else? I have some leaves falling here, some petals falling. That's kind of nice too. So I used that pink one. Now I'm going to take another one, another piece of foil, ball it up, and dip it in the green. Dip it in the green like that. And put in some leaves because all cherry trees start out, even if they're completely full of blossoms, at some point, they have a little bit of green showing too. So, so there we got, we have that. Um, I think I'm going to take some, uh, a green pencil and put in a little bit of grass. Now, I just want to see what happens when I take a brush, put some water on it, and paint over my um, pencil marks. Look what's happening. It's kind of turning into watercolor. That's pretty interesting. I can make the, the bark a little bit darker so that really stands out in the picture. That's kind of fun. And you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take another color pencil, this one, sort of a orangey browny color. And I'm gonna put some, very carefully, cause it's still wet, put some, uh, another color in there. I think that's going to make the bark stand out better. And 
and make it more interesting, really. So here we go. Now, should I wet that? I think I'm going to try it and see what happens. Spreads out a little bit. But you know what? I think I kind of like it the way it is. I don't think I have to do much more. So, um, same thing with the grass down here. I'm gonna wet that a little bit, make that color flood a little, you know, make it into watercolor. If you don't have those kind of pencils, don't worry about it. Just use what you have. Um, Hey, you know what? You can even paint with food if you really want to. So all art supplies are on as far as I'm concerned. So what do you think? Do you think you could do that? All it takes is a little paper and a little paint, some tin foil, a water, a brush or two and some colored pencils and a little imagination. You got this. Go ahead. See you soon. Bye-bye.